Hello and welcome to African Odyssey. In the annals of history, one name stands as both a symbol of ambition and a harbinger of controversy. Join us on a journey through the life and legacy of Cecil John Rhodes, a man whose vision left an indelible mark on Southern Africa, for better or worse. Born in 1853 in Bishop Stortford, England, Cecil Rhodes displayed remarkable determination from a young age. He arrived in South Africa at the age of 17, seeking to improve his health and fortune. Little did he know that this vast continent would become his canvas for grand ambitions. Rhodes made his fortune in the diamond mines of Kimberley, where he founded the De Beers Mining Company. His ruthless business tactics and consolidation of diamond resources would lay the foundation for the modern diamond industry, but at a steep human cost. Rhodes had a vision of a British-controlled Africa, connected from the Cape of Good Hope to Cairo. His expansionist policies led to the colonization of territories inhabited by indigenous peoples and the displacement of communities. In what is now Zimbabwe, Rhodes's British South Africa company sought control of lands rich in resources. The invasion and violent conflicts with local communities resulted in widespread suffering and loss of life. Cecil John Rhodes's involvement in the Jameson Raid, an ill-fated attempt to overthrow the Boer government, played a significant role in the escalating tensions in southern Africa. These mounting hostilities eventually ignited the devastating Second Boer War, a conflict that would bring untold suffering and loss to the region. The Second Boer War was a dark and tragic chapter in Southern African history. It pitted the British Empire, which Rhodes was closely associated with, against the Boer republics of Transvaal and the Orange Free State. This brutal conflict would claim the lives of thousands on both sides. The war was marked by fierce battles, prolonged sieges, and guerrilla warfare. The toll on the civilian population was immense, as homes were destroyed, farms laid to waste, and entire communities uprooted. Innocent lives were caught in the crossfire, and the suffering seemed unending. Rhodes, a prominent figure on the British side, had a hand in the circumstances that led to this devastating conflict. His ambitions and actions, including his support for the Jameson Raid, contributed to the tensions that ultimately erupted into all-out war. The Second Boer War left a profound scar on the region. It claimed the lives of soldiers and civilians alike, exacting a heavy toll in human suffering. Families were torn apart, livelihoods shattered, and the land itself bore the scars of battle. As we reflect on this tragic episode in history, we are reminded that the consequences of political ambitions and power struggles are often borne by those who have no say in such matters. The Second Boer War stands as a stark testament to the devastating cost of conflict in the pursuit of empire. Rhodes's political career saw him become Prime Minister of the Cape Colony, where he implemented policies that favoured British settlers and marginalised the indigenous population. Despite his controversial legacy, Cecil Rhodes established the Rhodes Scholarship, which has provided educational opportunities for thousands of students from around the world. His vision for education aimed to foster global understanding and peace. Cecil Rhodes's legacy in Southern Africa is a complex tapestry woven with ambition, exploitation, and lasting consequences. As we delve deeper, we uncover the staggering human toll and enduring controversies that continue to shape the region. Rhodes's policies and actions, driven by his vision of British dominance, left a profound impact on the indigenous peoples of Southern Africa. The toll on human lives during his rule is a tragic chapter in the region's history. Thousands perished as a result of violence, forced labor, and displacement caused by his expansionist endeavors. The colonization of what is now Zimbabwe saw devastating conflicts, with entire communities uprooted from their ancestral lands. Families were torn apart, livelihoods were destroyed, and the cultural fabric of the indigenous peoples was forever altered. The human suffering during this period is immeasurable, leaving deep scars that persist to this day. One of the most tragic consequences of Rhodes's ambitions was the death and suffering of countless individuals. Communities faced violence, disease, and famine as a result of the upheaval brought by British colonization. The Second Boer War, in which Rhodes played a significant role, claimed the lives of thousands of soldiers and civilians alike, leaving a trail of devastation in its wake. Furthermore, Rhodes's legacy is tainted by the stark inequalities and racial divisions that he perpetuated. His policies favoured British settlers while systematically disenfranchising and marginalising the indigenous population. This legacy of racial injustice continued long after his death, shaping the trajectory of Southern Africa's history. Even today, the controversies surrounding Cecil Rhodes persist. Statues and monuments dedicated to him have become focal points for debates on colonialism, racism, and historical reckoning. 
Some argue that his memory represents a dark period of exploitation and suffering, while others emphasize his contributions to education through the Rhodes Scholarship. As we reflect on this complex legacy, we are reminded that history is not a static narrative. It is a living, evolving conversation that prompts us to confront uncomfortable truths and strive for a more just and equitable future. Cecil Rhodes, a man of ambition and vision, left an indelible mark on Southern Africa. But that mark is one of both achievement and profound tragedy. In 1980, Zimbabwe gained independence from British colonial rule. The scars of Rhodes's actions during the colonization era were still deeply felt, but the nation looked forward to a new era of self-determination. Zimbabwe, like many African nations, grapples with its colonial history. The legacy of Cecil Rhodes continues to be a topic of debate, as the country seeks to heal and move forward. Cecil John Rhodes passed away on March 26, 1902, at the age of 48. He died in Musenburg, a coastal town near Cape Town, South Africa. Rhodes had suffered from heart problems, and his health had been deteriorating for some time prior to his death. Rhodes was buried in the Matopo Hills, a region located in what is now Zimbabwe. His burial site is known as the View of the World, and it was a place that Rhodes himself had selected during his lifetime. Rhodes chose this remote and scenic location for his final resting place because he had a deep connection to the African continent and the region he had played a significant role in shaping. The Matopo Hills held spiritual significance for the local Indabela people, and Rhodes respected their culture and traditions. He believed that being buried in this serene and picturesque landscape would symbolize his deep appreciation for Africa. Today, his grave is a popular tourist attraction and a place where visitors can reflect on his legacy and the complex history of colonialism in southern Africa. As we conclude our journey through the life and death of Cecil John Rhodes, we are reminded of the complexities of history. Rhodes was a man of immense ambition and vision, but his methods and actions left a divisive and enduring legacy in southern Africa. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of Cecil Rhodes's life. If you found this video intriguing and informative like, share and subscribe, until next time.